us learn about the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane. The fluid mosaic model was proposed by S.J. Singer and G.L. Nicholson in 1972. According to this model, the plasma membrane consists of lipids and proteins which are arranged in an unorganized manner. The cell membrane consists of a phospholipid bilayer. Each of the two layers consists of a hydrophobic side and a hydrophilic side. The two hydrophobic sides face each other, while the hydrophilic sides face either the internal or the external portion of the cell. Floating among the lipids are globular proteins which are placed irregularly in the bilipid layer. There are two types of proteins associated with the cell membrane, intrinsic proteins and extrinsic proteins. Intrinsic or integral proteins are either partially or completely embedded in the bilipid layer. Some of these proteins are attached to the microfilaments of the cytoskeleton. Extrinsic or peripheral proteins are attached to the polar ends of the lipid and can be easily detached. They help in the transport of specific substances across the bilipid membrane and in the cell-to-cell -cell communication. They may also undergo enzymatic activity. Short chains of glucose are attached to the surface of peripheral proteins and to the portions of the integral proteins which stick out of the membrane. The sideways movements of the lipids and proteins and the mosaic arrangement of the proteins account for the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane.